Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Um, I just want to come up on here and say hi and see how everyone is doing today. Um, I'm leaving work and it is spring break. And so it was very, very, um, I was very busy, but I got a lot of work done today. So, and then we cleaned, um, my department and so which is why I have on these bomby clothes but also because no one is here no students are here so it has been a great week and it's almost over Woo. and so yeah and because we were doing all that cleaning I didn't want to wear my hair and get her all dusty and it is so cold out there and um, so I just like put this cap on my head and um, twisted my front and kept it moving. It is ridiculously cold out there. I need somebody to call Mother Nature and let her know that it's March and so it's supposed to be spring because I forgot her phone number. I lost her phone number. But it is so cold in this morning. Oh my goodness. I, ju I just, I felt like we... We're taken back to the future or something and it was like November where it was just like in the 30s so um, right now it was warm enough enough for me to just leave with just this um, jacket on that goes to this sweatsuit but um this morning not so much not so much at all and then up north I know that you guys are having another nor'easter and all of that snow that I've seen up in Philly, goodness, you know, if we had that much snow in Atlanta, we would be shut down for weeks. And I just can't even imagine. And then, you know, you guys go to work when it snows, you know, a couple of, you know, a couple of inches. I guess maybe like four inches or something. Yeah, that, that's going to shut us down here. Yeah, Y'all shovel and keep it, keep it moving, not us. So I was hoping we would get some of that and we can get a snow day. But um, that didn't happen. But yes, so yeah, I'm on my way home. But I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, Mr. B and I have been so busy, so we did not have the opportunity to take this week's um, one and your Mr. B show. And so um, he wanted to do it Sunday. And I got so wrapped up in doing other stuff on Sunday that we didn't get to do it but we will do it um go ahead and record it probably saturday or so and so we'll have probably we'll probably have to do two so that you know we'll have one waiting but um yeah so we already have our topic or whatever and i think it's gonna be a good one also you guys seem to be in enjoying those and um yeah and mr b's candidness i have to kind of reel him in sometime because i told you guys he has no filter and so yeah if you guys heard the topics that he wanted to talk about this weekend oh my goodness i think youtube would shut us down i'm like no we don't do that on my channel this is not that type of channel so um yeah but we are um so we'll be doing that saturday i talked to a realtor and um she actually has a house for us well she thinks it's for us and it's in the it's in um a neighborhood that I was looking at and I have been seeing this neighborhood I have written through there several times and um, I love this neighborhood I've always loved this neighborhood and they had begun building to the back of it so I guess in like 2008 when they first began working on that neighborhood a lot of the houses in that neighborhood has like six to eight bedrooms oh my goodness I don't know who needs that many bedrooms but they did not complete um, the building in that neighborhood. And so this builder came in and built up the rest of the community a couple of years ago. Well, I had been looking in the community, you know, because I told you guys I had been interested in moving for a, a last couple of years anyway. And so I had been looking and I could not convince Mr. B that now was the time to move. And I love this community. I love the houses. And I also like how the community is still kept is kept up. Even the older houses are really kept up. So um, I spoke to a realtor. And um, 
she was telling me they only had one house left in that community and that um she was like you want to see it and i'm like well um well i don't know well, tell me about it so it's a four bedroom it's already completed and um the what happened was um someone had um, put a contract down on the house and they built it according to their specifications and the um the the loan fell through or they had something so it, it fell through so it's a four bedroom on a finished basement no not the basement was not finished it was completed on a basement lot and i told you guys the basement lots cost 20 or thirty thousand dollars but because they have not been able to sell this one and um they lowered the price to like two hundred and twenty thousand i'm like really but the problem with that guys that is a great deal we will still have to finish the basement i have not seen it and i might go see it just to see it on saturday but the problem with that is we'll have to finish the basement and i um i'm still doing stuff in my house and i don't want to be rushed to do it be doing the um completing the um projects on my home because i told you guys i i want top dollar for my place because i feel like my house is the bomb and um i want all of my money and so i don't want there to be no room anywhere for nobody to you know try to lowball me or anything so um i'm not ready so i would be more um, i feel like i would be better um prepared if we were to build something so i would have a three to four month cushion to um do what i need to do there and um that's the way i'm leaning but I'm, i want to go and see the house anyway um just to know because they're, they're building in another area and i think that house is going to be in the plan i will want the house but i don't want the basement although that amount for the basement is an excellent price and if we were ready to jump i would probably jump on it simply because it's in the neighborhood and the area that i want to be in but I am going to see this realtor, and so I'm going to go see that. But she wants me to see these other houses because they're about to build um, in a, another neighborhood that's nearby. But I need to go and look at the neighborhood to see if that is if it's where I would like to be. And I want to see the houses um, that they are building because she has several that she can show me. And so, um, so we're going to go do that on saturday and i'm really really excited about that and then i have i've been looking online and i have been like amazed at how people are putting their homes on online to sell i've seen like um things on the stove and um beds not made and i'm like i would not allow my realtor to come in and take a picture like that i think i would want my home to be shown in the best light possible um, so I don't know, but I've seen some houses that were look really, really nice on the outside. And then the whole inside was not a selling point. So yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to do all that. And you know, God, I'm just really, really particular. I'm particular about how people see my house anyway. I don't know. It seemed like I, am I looking really dark or something? It's light, but yeah, I'm really particular about all of that anyway so um but yeah we'll see so i'm excited about that and, and now mr b is like oh he's so on board he is so on board and now he's really excited now if i can get him to um get some more of these people out here that's been the hardest part to try to get the people out here out to the house actually to look at the give us a a, a quota estimate on the paint that we want them to do and um, I need a handy guy. I think I'm gonna I'm call, look on, what's that, Angie's list? Because I need a carpenter. I think that's what I need. Someone to come out and um, do something for me for the garage. And yeah, it's just a little bit of stuff. It's not a lot. Yesterday I was doing, I was painting the trim from where we painted the, um, the walls last year. And, um, I start, so I started painting the trim because I want that to be 
bright and vibrant and I'm still doing it in white so I'm just going back over it with some satin white paint and um, so guys so, so that is one of the reasons why why I began to paint last year because I knew it was, it was about time and it was gonna be hell of high water that I was gonna convince mr. B okay now it's the time to go so I was so happy I'm so happy that we did it when we did and that Poodle was here to um, help us um, because I have been telling her that you know I'm that's my that's gonna be our next move we're going to um, we're gonna be moving and I wanted to start getting the house you know together so we wouldn't have a lot to do and we I can honestly say that we don't have a lot to do and so yes but I'm really excited I love going looking at um, new homes and uh, mr. B he, he thinks that I'm just gonna jump he's like I know how you are you're gonna see something and you're, you're gonna just jump and you're gonna be like okay this is it and um, but I'm like no I'm, I'm not because you know I have stuff I need to do at my house at my current house and so um and the other things that I want to do right now I need we need to treat my grass um, because my neighbors on both sides of me have had weeds and now their weeds have encroached over into my yard and I need to treat that grass because it's gonna drive me crazy I have all those weeds and my um, landscaper who I had told me that that was gonna happen and so he was trying to treat it but those were some strong weeds and so you might my front yard is totally it's like full of weeds so I am going to um, be working on that I'm putting down actually when I get home today I'm gonna um, wet my grass so I can put the weed and feed on there and then a couple two weeks later I'm gonna spray the um, weed killer down and then I'm going to put out some, um, do some other stuff to bring my, um, to bring my grass up because my grass used to be really, really pretty. It looked like carpet and they used to always ask, what do we do to our grass? And I used to try to like sprinkle some of the stuff on their side and, you know, kill their weeds, but that was just a lot. So, um, I'm going to do that. So I want to get my grass right because I'm, I want, you know, I need to have curb appeal to my to my home to bring it to you know to bring them bring people in so I'm gonna work on that I'm gonna be working on um, putting some flowers at the door um, I have to go and get some pine straw in the next couple of weeks and I'm gonna put the pine straw down and um, around the house um, what else do I have to do I have to do that I'm gonna be working on the back patio I'm not gonna it's gonna it's gonna it's not gonna be all done up but I really if I could just I want to do something about that wall and if I'm selling it's not gonna be that much that I'm gonna do to it so I probably just scrub it if I can find me um, a pressure washer I'm about to get my dad's pressure washer I will um, pressure wash that wall and um, yeah and you know me I'm gonna um, scrub the porch again and yeah and I'm just gonna fix it up out there so when people come by um, when the realtors bring people by that it, it is okay and back at in the back is set up nicely so yeah that's those are all of my plans is not a lot but yes I'm, I became really excited last night when I you know I got the paint and I just started painting the tram and you know it's 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 cool so hopefully I will find something that will meet my specifications and if not I will we will be in our house until we until we do so I have um, had my neighbor next door is actually moving this weekend and um, her realtor came and um, I saw her and um, what was one down the street the neighbor down the street and um, her realtors, um, we were talking and she wanted to see like what my house looked like. And I told her, and she was like, oh my God, give me your card. Give me, here's my card. You know, she was like, I know. She was like, it, it won't take me no time to sell your house. And I was like, yeah, I know that. But I'm like, mm, you know, I want to pick my realtor. I want my realtor to pick me. 
So, we'll see. Mr. B was like, you know, yeah, well, we, we, it's not like we have to move. We're not, we're, we're trying to stress to people, especially when they think you're like, you're thinking of moving. And, you know, they're like, oh, well, we're going to push you into moving. And I don't want that. I, I want to move when I want to move. I'm going to move when I find what I want. And um, all of my specifications are checked off. And that's been the funny thing, too, because people, have, the, the realtors have asked me, the realtor who I'm going to meet on Saturday was asking me what was I looking for. And when I told her everything that was on my list, she was like, wow. I'm like, yes, because I know what I want I know what this current house was lacking that I wanted and you know and I'm like and right now we're not willing to you know bend you know there might be some things that I might not be able to get but majority of things on that list I'm gonna be able to afford I mean not afford I'm gonna be able to get so now I think one one area that we might have an issue with is like location because I want to stay in a particular location um, on the south side and I need to be I don't want to be in the city and I don't want to be too far from the city because I want to stay in the middle so I can get to my parents you know my, my, my dad lives on the west side and my mom lives south of me so right now I'm in the middle and I am the well my sister's here so we are you know and my sister lives about six to eight minutes away from me so we need to stay close to each other then my brother and my niece and nephew they actually stay in my subdivision around the corner but they are going to be moving pretty soon um also because i know my sister-in-law has been talking about it so but i think they're going to move further south if she has it her way she'll be moving further south but anyway that is um that is about it i just really wanted to jump on here you guys have um, rode with me part way from leaving work. Um, I need to fix dinner tonight. I have a um, collaboration tomorrow that I'm hosting and that is um, my dirty little secret um, collaboration. So you guys will see that tomorrow. Um, I finished recording that and I just, and I started to, did I? I've exported it. So I just need to do a little bit of editing and it will be ready for you guys tomorrow at seven o'clock a.m. And um, yeah, that's that's it. I'm really excited to you know to do this. I like doing collaborations. It's a lot of work. I never realized how much how much work goes into you know hosting a collaboration. So when I do it, you know, it has to be something that I'm into or something that is gonna be you know beneficial to me in, in, in my home you know what I mean so yes but yes that's it guys I am going to head on in I need to figure out what we're going to have for dinner tonight um, I'm really not hungry I had another one of those hearty sandwiches that I shared with you I mean sandwiches salads and it was so good and so now tomorrow actually I won't have that tomorrow we are having um, a bridal shower at work for two of my um, co-workers and so um, oh darn it they're going to have fried chicken I, I'm going to have to figure out something I can have fried chicken huh I probably should have got some type of grilled I mean um, roasted chicken I did not think about it I, and I was the one who placed put the order in I don't know what I was thinking about Anyway, so yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow. So I won't have um, my salad tomorrow, but I'm just going to be really um, careful about what I eat because Saturday is weigh-in day also. And I got on the scale this morning, guys, and it looked like I was down three pounds. So if that is the case, I will be at 14, 15 pounds. Oh my goodness. So we'll see what that's what my scale said this morning. So I'm like really, 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 really excited because if that is the case, then by my birthday, I will probably, hopefully, in the next two weeks, hit my 20, and what, 15? Yeah, about 15. So I should hopefully hit my 20 pound um, mark. 
So yes, so I will be out on the beach with my my bathing suit on. I'm not gonna be naked yet. But when I get there, y'all gonna know because y'all will be like, Wani is always on this camera naked. Yes, that's and then I said that's why that's why God did I, I have always been like curvy. Um I think that I remember the smallest that I was was like a size seven. And I went from a seven to a nine. And then in college, I, I um, gained what the freshman 15 and went from a 9 to a 14. And then that was it. But even, even at a 14, I never looked like I was a 14. And But now I think I look like what I am. But, um, but yeah, but yes, yes, yes. But I was like, if I was skinny and small like Puda, I never have on any clothes. My coworkers, they think I'm so funny. I was like, hmm, y'all haven't seen nothing yet. Y'all wait until the summer and I and let her come back out. Yes, she she ain't gonna have on no clothes, she ain't gonna have on nothing all the time. So, um, I'm on this freeway. Thank you for letting me over, mister. You're cute. So, um, yeah, so that's it. So we'll we'll wait and see, but hopefully. It's about, it's, if it's three pounds, I'll be at 14 or 15 pounds. So, I'm partially there. Partially there. Almost there. So close. So, um, yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's been 21 minutes. I'm on the freeway, and I need to concentrate on these other drivers here who have road rage besides me. So, um... Hope you enjoyed riding and chatting with me today. And I hope, also hope you guys enjoy tomorrow's um, collaboration with myself and all of the other wonderful YouTubers who are going part to um, participate. And um, I think that's it. Alright guys, this is my last time. I'm really gone.